In this tutorial, we will learn about drawing environment in SOLIDWORKS. Click on new. Select drawing. OK. Then select the sheet. On which sheet you want to create the drawing. And if you want to see the other available sizes, remove this tick. It will show all the available sizes of drawing sheet as per other standards. And if you want to show as per the standard you have selected tick here it will show the standard selected by you if you want to use some other format click on this browse and you can browse the other format wherever you have stored it then if you want to define some custom sheet size then click here and define the custom sheet size i want to create drawing on a3 sheet okay then browse the part document or assembly document you want to create drawing for. Click on browse, select the part, open. Then here you can select the view that you want to place or if you want to select multiple views, click on this create multiple views. And you can select the multiple views you want to place. You can add these diametric or trimetric views also. And if you want to place the dimensions automatically, click on this import annotation and design annotations. Then from here, choose the display style for the views. I want it to be hidden lines visible. Then it will use the sheet scale automatically. If you want to define different scale, click here and choose the desired scale. Or we will right now use the sheet scale then click on ok click on yes ok then you can drag the dimensions to place them properly just click the first button and drag the mouse so you can place the dimensions properly wherever you want then for this isometric view I don't want hidden view click on the view and from here select hidden lines removed so it will show the isometric view without hidden lines to add the name of the views click on annotation and click on notes then give the type of note I don't want leader so click on this no leader then place the text where you want to write it and write the name of the view it is a top view from here you can control font then size of the text at first select the text and then change the size then you can make it bold italic underline then click outside then here again this is a front view and click here ok escape to come out and you can drag it and place it wherever you want it then it has taken the material and the name of the part and description automatically and suppose if you want to add the weight also automatically then open the part open your part part 421 then click on here file then properties then in custom properties click here and select weight type will be a text type then from here take the mass ok then save the part and close the part it will show that weight automatically and if you want to add other details here you can add them using note click on the note click here and give the name and select the text and give the height click outside in this way you can add the other details then if you want to create drawing for other part in different sheet click on this here add sheet and to add the detail for other part click on this view layout and click on model view then browse the part open and choose the views that you want to place and ok same way if you want to add one more part in this current sheet click on model view choose the other part open and choose the views add the annotations and choose the hidden ok then you can drag and place these views properly you can drag the dimensions 
So in this way you can add multiple part details in single sheet. And if you want to change the scale of these drawing views, uh, select the multiple views using control button. So it will be changed for multiple views. Custom views give scale of 1 as to 1. Okay. And if you want to make changes to these details, then right click on sheet 3 and click on edit sheet format. And here you can give the relative detail. Suppose assembly part and you don't want part number is suppose 422 part and you can add the other details also then click here then if you want to add different views i want to add more projected views click on this projected views select the view and take your cursor to the direction from which direction you want to add the view we will add one more sheet sheet 4 and if you want to change the sheet size right click on sheet 4 and click on properties and from here you can define the sheet size you can change the type of projection also whether you want first angle or third angle you can change the scale of the sheet also click on ok then if you want directly add three views click on the standard three view browse the model for which you want to add the three views suppose I want for this open and it will add the standard views automatically if you want to make it hidden press the control and select all the views and from here click on hidden line visible and ok if you want to add auxiliary view click on auxiliary view select the reference object and click the view location so in this direction perpendicular to that object it will create the auxiliary view and from here you can flip the direction also ok I don't want this auxiliary view right click and delete it yes then next is uh, to create a section view suppose for other part I want to create for this part I want to create a section view just delete this view yes then click on section view then give the first point of the section line you can track the point give the second point and give the direction where you want the section view to be placed and press escape it will add section view automatically if you want to control the gap between these lines double click on it remove the stick material cross edge and from here you can control the scale if you increase the scale it will reduce the gap and if you reduce the scale it will increase the gap you can change the angle also if I want it in opposite direction now current it has considered at 0 for opposite it will be 90 degree enter so it will create hatch in opposite direction ok and if you want to change the name of the view double click it and you can give the other name if you want so as per that it will update automatically then to create align section view click on align section view then define the line for the section view I want from this point up to the center to this point give the location where you want to place the align section in this way you can create the align section if you don't want to show the hidden lines select the view and give here hidden lines removed then next is detail view click on detail view give the center point for the detail view create one circle and give the location where you want to place the detail view so it will add the detail view if you want to change the scale double click on it and change the scale if I want to make it 3 as to 1 click outside so it will automatically increase the scale and here drag it outside the symbol E and click on this if you want to have different option broken circle so it will show like this inside a broken circle click again on this detail view circle if you want to show with leader it will show it with leader then no leader and connected so it will show the line between the both the views and if you want to create a view with different shape then create that shape using sketch line command suppose I want to show like this
so create your shape escape then select the shape by holding down the control button then click on view layout and detail view so it will create detail view as per that defined shape is escape then broken out view at some position if you want to show it by breaking the view suppose we will go to sheet 1 here I want to add the broken out view for broken out view again we will have to create one sketch using line or circle suppose using circle I want to create one sketch here then click on view layout and broken out section then give the depth for the broken out view I want it to be 10 ok so in this way you can create a broken out view I created circle you can create the object by line also as we created for detail view and in this shaft I want to create a break click on break select the drawing view then give the orientation of the break whether you want it vertical or horizontal I, in this case I want it horizontal give the first position from where you want to break and give the second position up to where you want to break then from here you can control the gap between two break lines then here you can give the type of the break line straight cut or curve zigzag or small zigzag and click on ok in this way you can add the break view if you want to remove the break right click and click on this unbreak view so it will bring back the original view and remove these lines select these lines and delete it yes so it will bring back the normal view and I want to show the crop view for crop view again you will have to create one spline or line click on sketch then I will create one spline object connect it back then click on view layout and click on crop view so it will crop the view if you want to cancel the crop view right click on it and from here you can remove the crop or edit the crop by editing the crop you can edit the spline position to modify the crop and click on ok so as per that it will modify it if you want to remove it just select the view right click and click on this crop view and remove crop so it will bring back the whole view again so that's all for today we will stop here thanks for watching